Okay, let's go ahead and export this. And so I'm going to come to main menu. I'm going to double click on my sequence first just so the computer knows what I want to be working with. Then I go to main menu, file, export, QuickTime. Main menu, file, export, QuickTime. It's the easiest way to get just a plain QuickTime file. I'm going to go with their recommended settings. Death Star Harrington. I'm going to put it in my desktop in that folder that I have. And now all I have to do at this point is hit save. And it shouldn't take that long at all. And it'll save. It looks like it took no time at all because of the, we just did the render. And so I'm going to go Final Cut Pro. Quit Final Cut Pro. <coughs> do you want to save? Sure, why not? And when I check that folder inside of there, there should be a .move file, and where is it? There it is, Death Star, Harrington, .move, .move is QuickTime. If I hit the space bar, here it comes. Here's my actual file. Now I could send this off to DVD, I could send this off to the internet, I could send this off into a range of different uses at this point.